everybody. I know I'm super late. Um, hello, 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 everybody joining on Facebook, Periscope, and Instagram. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope. With True Heart Speaks, Teacher True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. Here to help you get out of your own way and get to the business of living. And so, good morning. How are you, Adrian? Hey, Jill. How are you? Hey, everybody. Let me... Uh, Is everybody this morning? Good morning. Hey there. Good morning. Hey Erica, how are you? Alright, so I'm not going to keep you guys long this morning. Hey there. Hey Will, how are you? Good morning. So, <clears throat> I am officially back from out of town. I'm officially tired, so I will be resting today. Good morning, everybody. Um, but I wanted to share on this morning's life scope. Um, and if you could invite people in, share if you can. I know on Instagram you can. On, um, sorry about that. Um, if you're on Facebook or if you're on Facebook or Periscope, please share. But um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I'm going to share so that everybody knows that we're live. How is everybody? Did everybody have a good weekend? All right, so let me share this. Hey Jay, hey Faith, good morning. So yes, please love and share all that good stuff. We are, um, I'm not gonna be live for long. I just wanna share something with you, um, which is based on today's title, What Are You Waiting On? Um, and I had hesitated between going live and um, staying in the bed and resting for a little bit, but I wanted to share this because I don't want to, to be honest. I wanted to, um, <laughs> yes, Flossy Flossy made it back. <laughs> and Flossy Flossy is tired. <laughs> yes, uh, I got back yesterday. I'm so tired, y'all. So, all right, so I've shared. Let's get this party started. Okay, so before we start, let's double tap the screen. Let's give some hearts of worship. Let's thank God for another day, another week, a new month. We are in a new month, right? Um, today is December 4th. How crazy is that? Fourth day of uh, last, the last day of the of the last month of the year. Um, hey, Kimbe, how are you? Good morning. And so, um, like, you know, for us, this is, if you are part of my I Speak Life Society, which is my women's tribe on Facebook, um, every month at the beginning of the month, I share a list of questions, reflective questions. Thanks, love. Um, for us to be able to kind of reflect on last month, this month, all that kind of stuff. And so we're just thankful for a new month. And so I normally call each month a chapter. And so for all of us, this is chapter 12 in, um, in our book called 2017. And so I hope when you're able to look over the last 12 chapters of your book or specifically, hey, Leah, how are you, love? The last 11 chapters of your book you can be proud of what you've done right you can be proud or and and maybe you're not so proud but you can be reflective like i don't know and so in that um i want to really just um just be grateful like hey Catherine, good morning how are you so let's just again let's double tap the screen um let's give god glory let's give him honor i'm thankful for getting home safe right um i had a really good flight going and coming safe flight and so i pray every time i fly um whenever we travel we pray but i'm grateful um hey Deanna, how are you love and so god is faithful um you know and he you know is just he's such a good god right and so i'm grateful just to be home i'm grateful to be home safe i'm grateful that um this alarm keeps popping on oh no it's 
consistently. I'm grateful to be home. I'm grateful that I, you know, for traveling mercy. I'm grateful for all of that. And so um, I'm grateful for you all. And uh, good morning to Chico. How are you, love? And so with that being said, um, let's talk really quickly. Like I said, I'm not going to keep y'all long today. I'm really tired. Um, and I have to get Dallas up for school. And then I'm coming home and I'm literally going to get back in the bed um, and just rest. Um, and I'm going to take me some Theraflu because you can hear me. Um, tr literally trying not to get sick. My son was sick over the weekend while I was, I did, I had such a good time Sh to Chico. It was so good. So, so, so good. I'm just glad that I did it. And this really is part of my conversation today. So today we're talking about what are you waiting for, right? And so for, um, for some of you, I've mentioned this for, for if you've been on the life scope. So this weekend was literally my very first girl's trip. Like I've never taken a girl's trip. I've never gone anywhere with just my girlfriends. Like normally, like I've taken trips with my husband. I've taken trips with my family. I've taken like business trips, like with girlfriends. Like we've gone on trips and we've gone, you know, places or whatever. But like strictly just me and some girls, I've never done that. And so I really wasn't sure what to uh title today's life scope because i wanted to entitle it like do something you've never done before whatever the case may be but it's you know it's more about like what are you waiting on right like what's taking so long like what took you so long why haven't you done it yet all of those questions is literally hi tammy how are you good morning love hey tanisha how are you love and so um hey india how are you good morning everybody and so Today, we're just talking about, like, what are you waiting for? And so, for me, um, it was, like, to some extent, like, when I when I finally got there and when I spent some, I spent, so for those of you who are just joining, over the weekend, I, um, this, so on December 12th, it will be 20 years that I will have been a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Incorporated, Ski Week, so, and um, so this past weekend, my line sisters and I, we, spend our 20 year anniversary together we just you know spent the trip we said we were going to go to atlanta we weren't going to do it because we kind of did it not last minute but last minute like we kept talking about it but we were like well let's go somewhere that doesn't really cost too much money where we can just hang we can have a good time whatever so i booked my flight and um and we got the hotel and you know whatever and so while i was there in my mind i was like like what took me so long like what took me so long to now that we we do one every five years so we did one for um for our 10-year anniversary we did one for our 15-year anniversary and now this is our 20-year anniversary and so i know specifically why i couldn't do the 10-year anniversary the 15-year anniversary there was some stuff going on with my family and i just couldn't get away like um now i know but at the end of the day, like there are some things that for you, it may not be a girl's trip. For you, it might be writing the book. For you, it might be resting more. For you, it might be, you know, going out on a date. For you, it might be um, going for the job, like, you know, to, you know, redoing your, your resume and, and putting in for like a new position. For you, it might be, I don't know what it is, but my question really is, what are you waiting for? Like, um, and to some extent, what took you so long? Why is it taking you so long? Hey, Ebony. Hey, Shawnee. Hey, Melina. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Um, what what are you waiting for? Like, real talk. You know what I mean? Like, there's some things that I know that you've been saying you need to do, you want to do, right? And we're not talking about needs versus wants, right? Because um, I think at the end of the day, like, we do things we want to do regardless of whether we need to or want to. This is really just life stuff that just feeds your heart, feeds your soul, feeds your spirit, what are you waiting for? Like, what what is taking you so long um, to do whatever it is that you keep saying that you want to do? Like, I kept saying, like, I'm going to take a girl's trip. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I never did. Um, and part of it is just because I'm a workaholic. Like, I just sometimes we just have to call a thing a thing. Like, I'm a workaholic. And I just, like, didn't make the time to do it. You know what I mean? And I didn't, like, I just, like, this year I just was like, you know what? I haven't seen my line sisters in, like, I can't, like, I couldn't even remember. Like, my one line sister is my best friend. Like, I've seen her. I've seen her. I've talked to her. But the rest of them, like, I literally, I haven't seen them. And so, I wanted to see them. Like, I wanted to, hey, Robin, how are you, love? I wanted to spend time with them. Like, they had been together a couple times and, you know, and so they FaceTimed me so I could see them the last, specifically the last time. But I wanted to see them. And so... I just made a decision that I was going, right? And it, and and that's what it was. And so for some of you, you know, like, and again, it could be something simple. Like, what are you, I just, yeah, I think you just need to think about the things that you keep saying you want to do. 
you keep thinking about the things you say that you're going to do. And so, like, for example, um, like, I'm going to clear the clutter out of my closet. I, uh, you know, one of these days, I'm going to get these clothes out of here. One of these days, I'm going to, you know, renovate my bathroom. One of these days, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. One of these days, I'm going to do this, this, one of the, one of these days. Like, when is one of these days going to show up? When are you actually going to, when are you actually going to do something about one of, one of those one of these days things on the list right that's you Catherine. right one of these days and i'm not telling you to do everything i'm not even telling you to do anything tomorrow like but what i am telling you to do is to answer the question what are you waiting on like are you a workaholic and so like you just don't feel like you could take time away um you know are you afraid uh is it too overwhelming like get real with what really is like what are you waiting on like what's in the way of you doing the things that you say that you want to do but you're not doing real talk like what's really in the way you know what i'm saying like what's really 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 in the way of you doing that one of these days turns it turns into years like i mean like i 20 years and I literally have not seen some of my lines since I swear it's 10 years. It might be 15 for some. Like Nick, who's the one on our line, like I don't, I'm trying to think about the last time I've seen her. Like real talk. Like I hadn't, you know what I mean? And so schedule is crazy and overwhelming to start. And so sometimes you literally, like for me, we sat down, we looked at our schedules and like, and we said, okay, well, when can we get together in December? Period. One of my other girlfriends, um, Yolanda, we talked about that. We literally, she sent me a text message and she was like, enough is enough. We're going on a girl's trip. We're going to start hanging more. We're going to start seeing each other more. Because, you know, um, she's got three kids. I have one. Um, but, you know, we're married. We have sometimes um, it's us in our own way. Absolutely, Dr. T. Hey, Ren, how are you? It is, for the most part, it's always us in our own way. Like, we may say, oh, excuse me, y'all. Missy, you got to wait now. Um back there whining so sometimes um it can get overwhelming but i see myself burning out and who am i good for then nobody you're not even good for yourself to chico and so um you know most like we may say dr t like oh you know uh, well if you know if i just you know like you might say it's money like you might say it's it's like oh i have a family i just can't get away from the family i just can't whatever or oh i have all of these responsibilities at work there's just no way whatever whatever but you have you have time at work like you like there's people who never take time off at work what's the point of working and getting vacation time if you're not going to take a vacation like you have like all of these hours and then some for some of you at the end of the day like there's some hours that don't accrue the next year and so you lose them because you don't want to miss you don't want to miss work or you choose not to miss work and i'm like at the end of the day boom that like i'm gonna take me a mental health day at the end of the day i'm gonna take it i file work like at my other job i think every month we got 1.7 days and so for me i'm like if i work 30 days to for me to accrue 1.7 days oh i'm taking 1.7 days sometime this month because i worked for it period that i just I took on, I believe, I believe more mental health days than I do in physical health days. I believe that mental health days are probably needed more than physical health days. Like there are some days that like you might not be feeling well, but you can still go into work. But there are some days that mentally you're not there. You're not focused. You're not, you're just not there and you don't need to be at work, period. And so, um, so when I talk about what are you waiting for, I really just want you like, when are you going to just sit down and rest? Like for some of you, it's not doing anything. It's sitting your butt down and resting and um, and just taking in like and just sit like some of you don't know how to sit still. Some of you don't know how to just take a nap and just do nothing. Like when you don't have anything on um, on your schedule, you got to find something to put on your schedule because you don't know what it's like to not do anything. Like there always has to be something for you to do. And so like what are, like what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Like real talk. Like like I said, I'm not going to be on here long. I just literally um, had to, I really want to put this before you. And I really want you to ponder this this week. Because I think for me, it was a, um, and for some, for sometimes I think we overanalyze it. Like, you know, you think like, oh, it says not taking time off work is detrimental. 
and can make you jaded and feel unappreciated. Um, the car accident has made me reevaluate and I had to slow down, like literally physically. And you know, that's not me. Oh, absolutely. Jay. I know like, and we talked about this, like for you, that's like, <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> it's torture. It says, I don't like having idle time, but I've started reading and doing puzzles or doing puzzles instead. Yeah, like, we just like, and here's the thing, Lorinda, that I think, and this may not apply to you, but I know it applied to me. I felt like I wasn't doing anything if I wasn't doing anything. Like, you feel like, and I don't even know how, how to, to make it a word, but like, you feel like a loser. Like, who just sits around and does nothing, right? Like, who just... I just like, no, I just feel like I have to be doing something because if I'm not doing anything, then like I'm feeling like I'm wasting my time. And what we fail to realize is, is that you need that quiet time. You need to just sit like I've just gotten to the point where I don't have to explain to you while I'm at home and I'm sitting on the couch. And if I want to sit on the couch for, for a day and scratch my butt and watch TV, who are you to tell me that I can't? Like you don't, you don't get to dictate my time. You don't get to dictate what I do. You don't get to dictate how I do it. And you don't get to dictate when I do it or why I do it. And so I'm entitled to rest if I want rest. And I don't have to explain that to you. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in the process of doing, 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 doing that we don't know how to not do. We don't know how to just be. And so, and that takes time for, as somebody who knows, who has been on, like, I feel like I was wired and trained to be on the go all the time because that was part of my lifestyle. And when I got to a point where I just, you know, was literally, I think, on the verge of, of a burnout, I didn't care what other people thought because I could feel it. Like, I literally could feel it. And so, for some of you, I think... You all just have to decide what that is. Like, it may not be resting. For some of you, you may need to get off of your butt and start doing something. Like, you've been chilling for way too long. What are you waiting on? Like, you've been talking about writing a book. You've been talking about working out. You've been talking about, you know, uh, getting a new car. You've been talking about buying a house. You've been talking about getting your finances together. You've been talking about get, going to church. You've been talking about praying a little bit more. You've been talking. Like, you've been doing a whole lot of talking. You've been on doing a whole lot of journey but what are you what are you really waiting on like real talk what are you waiting on like like for real like and again only you know what it is that you've just said well I'm, and here's the thing like some stuff i get it like there's a process to it so i'm not saying for you to jump into something that you're totally not ready for that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is it that there are some things that, for example, if it is buying a house, you know, um, you know, I, it's like, oh, well, I, you know, I really want to buy a house, but you keep spending your money. You want to buy a house, but you haven't started looking at houses. You want to buy a house, but you haven't had conversation with the realtor. You haven't had conversation. You don't know what your credit score is. You haven't, you want to buy, like, what are you waiting on? And sometimes you're waiting on you, but what's really in the way of you not doing whatever it is that you say you want to do or you said that you've been wanting to do? You know what I mean? Like sometimes it literally is like if you say, I want to go, I want, like for me, there's some things that I really want to do. So I wanted to go on a trip by myself somewhere um, or just go on, like, and it doesn't mean have to go anywhere far, like it could be anywhere, whatever, but I want to go on a trip somewhere uh, by myself. Um, and probably the thing that, that I'm waiting on is really just the courage to just go. <laughs> um, but I, that's something that I really want to do. And so I'm not necessarily sure. And I, and I need to kind of decide maybe where I want to go. And sometimes you just need to maybe narrow it down. So maybe it's like my first trip by myself might just be, okay, well, maybe I'm just going to go to Niagara Falls for the weekend, or maybe I'm going to go to New York city or whatever. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Mario, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Pumpkin, how are you? Good morning. Good morning, everybody who's joining the Morning Life Scope. Um, and so I just want y'all to, like, literally, good morning um, and blexibly. I think that's what that is. Good morning, Ghetto Preacher. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want you all to, to answer the question, what are you waiting for? Like, I know you're waiting on you. Like, that's just, like, that's a given, to be honest. Like, I know... That that's what that is. But aside from you waiting on you, you know what I mean? Like, what are you waiting for? Like, are you waiting? Like, I don't know. Like, some of you, like, there's some things that, like, you just keep putting off. 
um, or you're just not doing or you think you don't have the time for it or whatever. Um, and, it, and some of you are just making it a lot more complex than it needs to be. And I think if you just simplify it and you just kind of really get real. And, and for some of you, maybe just pick one. Like some of us have like these lists of things that we want to do or that we're, that we're supposed to be doing or whatever. And it over, if you're like me, it overwhelms you. And then you're like, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to give me a cup of tea. I'm just going to, I just can't right now. Like I just, I can't. But sometimes you just have to like be real with yourself and say, you know what, I really need to just get myself together and I need to do it and I need to take the steps to do it. Um, thank you so much, Kim Set. Kim Set, you have a good day as well. And so, um, but those of you who are just joining, please catch the replay because we're getting ready to um, shut down. I'm going to pray and then I'm going to go get Dallas ready for school. But I really just want you to think about some of the things that you keep saying that you want to do. Some of the people who you keep saying you want to see. Some of the things that you say that you want to experience or some of the things that you say you want to stop doing, right? And I want to, and I really want to pose the question, what are you waiting for? Why haven't you done it? Like real talk. Because, um, you know, for some of you, if you, you look up, it's December. <laughs> it's December. And by the time we blink, we are all, God willing, going to say Happy New Year and we're going to be like, dang, like... <gasps> where did the freaking time go like what i'm already saying that like i feel like we just said happy new year like literally i do like it, i cannot believe it's december it's just this year flew by and so like as we pray i really want you to um think about how you want to do some things differently in your life and you want to get to a point good morning Retta. how are you love and how you want to get to a point where um you can start doing some of the things that you keep saying you want to do. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be taking some fabulous trip. Like some of you, you need to clean your garage out. Like some of you need to throw some things out. Some of you need to just take a day off at work. Like it could be something simple. It could be something big. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, I just really wanted to challenge you today um, because I'm glad <clears throat> that I got a chance to spend some time with my lying sisters. Tomorrow is certainly not promised. And who's to say that we will have another opportunity to get together in another five years? Like, we may decide to do something in between that time. But I really, really, really think that um, you have to be intentional about your life and be unapologetic about it. And stop feeling like you have to give people an explanation on why you need to do certain things the way you need to do them. Um, and just do it. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about like spouses. Like I wouldn't just be like, oh, I'm doing this and who are you to my husband? But I'm talking about people who we spend more time, you know, giving explanation to people who need no explanation about why we do what we do. Like for, you know, for example, Janique is slowing down. And people are like, oh, well, why are you slowing down? Or what are you like? Is everything okay? You don't need to know all of that. Just need to know that I'm chilling right now and I'm okay chilling. <laughs> I might not be okay, but I don't have to explain that to you, period. You know what I mean? Like, we get kind of just wonder, like, what are people going to think when we're not there anymore or when we're not around anymore or when we're not, like, when we try to, we start switching some stuff up. It doesn't matter. So let me pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this place. We thank you for um, just this week, this new month, this new day. Um, we thank you, God, <clears throat> for the first 11 months of this year. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you, God, for protecting us we thank you lord for just an opportunity just to be in a space we thank you for today's topic of what are you waiting for what are you waiting for and so for some of us lord we're we know for many of us we're in our own way and so we haven't you know taken the step to do whatever it is that we said we wanted to do for whatever reason whether it's fear we're worried about what other people are going to think. We're worried about, you know, what other people are going to say. We're afraid because it's something we've never done before and we're not sure what the result is going to be. Um, it seems too overwhelming for us to take on. And so, God, I'm just asking that you would give us whatever it is that we need in order to take the first step, our next best step, in order to do the thing that answers this question, what are we waiting for? Uh, whether it's taking a trip, whether it's writing a book, whether it's buying a house, whether it's um, resting more, whether it's praying more, whether it's spending more time with you, whatever it is, like, what are we waiting for? Like, we keep saying that we need to do this, 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 and this, right? Or we need to stop doing this, 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 and this, and so, Lord, whatever it is. Give us what we need. Um, and for some of us, we have what we need. Help us to just be bold enough to take the step. You have given us everything that we need. 
to do what we need to do. Like we literally have everything we need to take our next best step. And so maybe the prayer, Lord, is not to um, maybe it's not to give us what we need to take the next best step, but help us to just be bold enough to just take the next best step, right? Because um, we have it. We have it. We may not have everything we need to complete it, but we have everything to start. And so, Lord, just um, help us to be, you know, more intentional about, you know, how we want to spend this chapter of our book called 2017. We are four days in, four pages in to chapter 12 of the book called 2017. And so let us be intentional with how we spend this time, you know, whether it's resting more, whether it's being intentional with who we spend our time with, whether it's being more intentional with just paying attention to what we do with our time, right? Whatever it is, God. And so we just honor you today. We thank you today. We love on you today. And uh, we're grateful for this message that this week we will start answering the question, what exactly am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Why haven't I done it? Why haven't I taken the first step? Why haven't I gotten started? Uh, why haven't I stopped? Why haven't I, like, removed myself? What am I waiting for? Why haven't I removed myself from that situation? Why haven't I removed myself from that thing, that whatever it is? Um, and so help us to, to be the change that we want to see in our lives. Help us to be the transition that we need. Help us to help us to get out of our own way and get to the business of living so that we can do life well, God. And so we honor you today. We magnify you today. Um, and we just lift you up today. And so we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. Those of you who are just now joining, um, go back and check out the replay. And everybody between Periscope and Facebook, um, <clears throat> go back and, and, and share this because um, we really, hey, Pastor Jeanette, good morning. We really need, um, people need this message. They really need this message. And so share it all week, right? And so even though we meet only on Mondays, share this. Like come back every day and just share it so that new groups of people can, can hear this message um, can start answering the question to this question, right? And so um, I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. You have an awesome week. And I will check y'all out uh, next Monday for the Morning Light Scope Monday Morning Motivational Message. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.